Aumanu Nature Reserve in uh, Waikanae, just north of Wellington, is not only an amazing place to come and check out some of the local wildlife, like this kaka on my head here, for example, but it also plays a really important role when it comes to the rehabilitation of some of our native bird species that have been injured or are unwell, and it really gives them that second chance at life. <laughs> So Bruce, that was good timing wasn't it? Yeah. Not only do you have this amazing little nature reserve here, but um, clearly you act as a bit of a hospital for banged up birds <laughs> like Kiko here, who's yeah. having a wee sing. What's involved with that? Yeah, we um, get the public generally hand in the birds to either Department of Conservation, SPCA, or bring them here directly. And we look at rehabilitating these birds so they can be released back into the wild and just enjoy their natural state. If you ever come across a native bird that's, that is quite clearly injured, then the best thing you can do is keep them safe and warm, put them in a box, put a lid over it where it's nice and dark and keep them quiet and get in touch with an expert, ring Doc, and they'll put you onto someone like Bruce who has the facilities and the, and the knowledge to be able to raise them right. Yes, Kekko's um, certainly one that's not only good for rehabilitation, but he's a great advocacy bird as yeah, well. I bet he, he's quite the character. <laughs> now we're here to see some of the bigger birds and how to look after them. So what is involved, Bruce, in looking after something like a, a kereru or wood pigeon? Yeah, a lot of the kereru come to us, they usually had an impact injury, um, flown into a window, whatever, arrive in a little small box, pretty out of it. And what we do is we rehabilitate, we, we treat the injury that they have. Um, generally they're confined to a small space and then we move them into this large flight aviary here so they can actually get some exercise, get some wing exercise and then look at doing a soft release back into the wild. Then this aviary that they've got access to food but we've got a release hatch at the end of the aviary, we can open that, the birds can release themselves and return to the wild. Yeah, that's fantastic. And actually the worst thing for kereru is um, those impact injuries from flying at a million miles an hour into windows. They don't see the glass, um, so ranch sliders, windows are a big issue for them. So one way you can get around that and look after your kereru is to put stickers on your windows or hang something in there so they can see what's coming and veer the other way. We've talked a little bit about the rehabilitation here that Bruce has been doing, but there's also a huge recovery program for not just birds, but skinks, lizards, even tuatara. So let's go check that oh, out. I'll check the tuataras out, they <laughs> neat. <laughs> Namanu is a special place, not only because it's heavily involved in the rehabilitation of native birds, but it also has a recovery program for a whole host of native species like my wee friend here, the Tuatara. So I think it's probably about time you guys got out there and met your locals. <laughs> Amata Tuai 